Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Yes, it's going to happen, Christian. Is it really all that wonderful to be at home with the Lord Jesus? I'll say it is. And he wants us to anticipate it with joy, not with grief or fear or shame. He wants us to look forward to it. Lord, we're ready to live every day in the light of the return of Christ in such a way that it will be no surprise when he comes. As a dear brother up in New York, not far from where we used to live, and on more than one occasion, I would come to their assembly and he'd shake my hand at the door and he'd say, Jabe, I'm surprised to see you here. I say, why? Was I not supposed to be here for the meetings or what? No, he says, the next time I was going to see you, I thought I'd see you in heaven. And that's how he lives his whole life. Every time he's surprised to see you here, he expected to see you there. Does that make us no earthly good? We're so heavenly minded? I tell you, he's one of the most valuable men I know because he measures every minute and every contact with every person in the light of that day when he'll see the Savior. He doesn't want this attitude like, I should be afraid of him. I can't be afraid of someone who is perfect love. And you can't make God's people guilty enough to serve him or afraid enough to serve him or obligated enough to serve him. If he's not worth serving because you love him, nothing else will do. He says that's the only fitting motive, doesn't he, in 1 Corinthians 13. The only thing that will carry you through, Christian, obligation or guilt or fear or whatever, it'll last a little bit, but you'll dribble out after a while. The only thing that keeps God's people going on is just because we love him. Well, so what's the answer? The answer to the realization of what heaven will be like is living there now. He invites us there every day. He says, don't live down there. Come on up here and live in the enjoyment of the king. And if I do, if in the morning I get up and say, Lord Jesus, I don't want to live down on the low plain. I want to live in the heavenlies. I want to enjoy heaven now. I want to be in constant contact. I want to see your face. I want to hear your voice. I want to be consciously in the presence of the Lord Jesus every minute of this day. I'll fall in love with him every day. I'll keep finding fresh reasons to love him. And I'll be looking for ways to serve him, not out of guilt or duress or fear, but just because he's the most wonderful person in the universe and I couldn't think of anything better to do than to please his blessed heart. <laughs>